another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff in which you're gonna learn Chiquitita by ABBA. So first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so this was actually a challenge by one of my students in the Fingerstyle Arrangement Academy. His name is Giles, and he arranged it in the key of G, G for Giles. And he kind of challenged me uh, into creating my own arrangement by asking whether I could include the harmonies as well. So I arranged it in the key of A, A for Asaf. So you're gonna learn it in the key of A. Um, you start the intro with third harmonies. So on strings two and three, you put a bar and you play two and two, and then you play three and four, five and six. Okay, two and two, three and four, five and six. I like to slide. And this is on strings two and three. Now the third harmonies continue on the first string. So you play two and three, four and five, and then five and seven twice, and you slide it to seven and nine. Right? So. And then you have five, seven, five, hammer on, pull off on the first string. And then you have an E chord. It's a D shape on four. Okay, four, five, four. And then you have the harmonies again. Okay, the same harmonies. Two and three, four and five, five and seven on strings one and two. And then you add seven on the third string and you play it as a D chord. Okay, five, seven, seven. And then you play that E chord again. Okay, and there you have it. That's the intro. E, D, E. Okay. 
And then you play an A chord, just a simple arpeggio. Okay, nothing fancy, just a simple arpeggio of an A chord. And the verse begins with harmonies again. Okay, this is the A chord, strings one and two. Okay, on zero and two. And then you have two and three, and then zero and two again. And then you go backwards on the harmonies on the second and third strings. Okay, you play three and four, two and two. And then you play A. Okay, you start with the E string and the bass. Okay, any way you want to play it. So... Okay, I know that I made a rhythmical mistake there. Okay, but you're learning it now. So I can make as many mistakes as I want. And then you play A, and then you have two, three on the second string, zero, two on the first. Okay, you can play the A chord. And then you have E. Okay, you play the chord, the E string, the first string is the melody again. And then you have three, two, zero on the second string. You can harmonize with the rest of the chord. Okay, and then you have D sharp 11. That's a D Lydian chord. A mode. So it's four, three, two. Okay, four, three, two on strings one, two, and three. Okay, with the D string. And you bar the second fret and you play two, four, five on the first string. Okay, you're still on D. Okay, so four, two, four, five. And then two. Okay, a D chord. And then an E chord, okay? So four, two, four, five, and then you have two, okay, a D chord, and then E, okay? An E chord, again, with the E string as your melody. And then you have, okay, third harmonies again, okay? You're on E, so you play strings two and three on zero and one, and then two and two, and then three and four, twice. And then I like to play the A bass first, before I play the three and four again, and then two and two, zero and one, two and two. Okay, so. Okay, and you play the A chord again, just any way you want to arpeggiate it. Okay, just keep it simple. And then you have the first A line again. And then I have the second line. But instead of E, okay, instead of E, you play C sharp minor, bar on four, A minor. Okay, so it's the chord. And then seven, five on the second string. And then the first on four, and then the chord with five on the second string. Okay, so. And then you just play the ending again from D sharp 11. E. Okay. And um, if you want to make a distinction that it's the second line, you can just play the third string alone at the end and create this. Okay, without the harmony, without the second string. So then you get... Okay? Um, to me, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but um, it does make a difference. So if you like it, play it this way. Okay, now before we continue to the chorus, I wanna remind you of the guitar giveaway. There's a guitar giveaway going on this summer and all new members of my course program, I have a course program with a new course platform, um, lickandref.com slash courses. And all my courses are waiting for you there. The ear training courses, the theory courses, there's a new theory course I released this month. Okay, the fretboard vision course, the arrangement training course, the Travis picking course, 
the fingerstyle technique toolbox course, including all the fingerstyle techniques that I know, intuitive composition, acoustic soloing, rhythm guitar superstar, rhythm mastery, and much, much more. And every month I am releasing a new course, every single month. Okay, so uh, go to liganrev.com slash courses and I'll see you on the other side. I'm also holding two live sessions every single month to all the members of my course program. All right, so uh, the chorus starts with more harmonies, more third harmonies. So it's five and seven three times on strings one and two, and then seven, nine, five and seven, and then four and five, two and three. Okay, so, and then you have D with five on the first string. So you can play this D, or you can play this D, okay, any way you want. You can play five, seven, seven, or you can play five, three, two. Okay, whichever sounds best to you. Okay, so, okay, this or, this. And then you play the same solo line. And then you end instead of D, you end on A. So it's 5-5-6 five, five, on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay, with the A bass. And then you have 7-5 on the second string. And then strings 1 and 2 on 5. Okay, so it's. And then you have. Okay, two, three on the second string, zero, two, four, five on the first. And then you have E, okay, the D shape on four, but with the E bass this time. And then two, four again, and then you have D with five, two on the first string. And then you have E again, okay? Then you have the same ending, okay, the same ending as you played in the verse. And then you play the same thing up to the A chord. D. And then you play A and you do this. Okay, so it's A. And then seven, nine on the first string. I slide. And then seven, you can pull off. And then 10 on the second string. And then nine on the first. And then you can put on a D shape on nine, which is an A chord. So you play it with the A bass. And I play strings two and three. Okay, so it's. It just continues the same way to the end. Two, three, zero, two, and so on. And then five with D. And then you have this, okay? Okay? You have E, D, and E. Seven, nine, nine, five, seven, seven, and then four, five, four, okay, the D shape with the E bass, okay? So, and then you continue from two, four, five. Um, and again, you can end on two on the third string alone without the harmony to indicate that it's an ending, okay? So that's the chorus. Now the outro starts with A, okay? Just the A chord, okay? The second string is what's important here. And then two, zero, two, three on the second string. And then you have D, with two zero 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 on the first string. And then you have E, the D shape on four. 
fluke, and then D with five on the first string. Okay, so. And then I play E, and I play. Okay, any line I just improvise with four, five, seven, five, four, two, zero. Okay. And then you just repeat it. E, D, and then E, and you improvise. Okay, you don't have to improvise, you can. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Giles, and thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, remember to check out the courses, okay? The Lick and Ref Courses program at lickandref.com slash courses. And I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.